moving forward it, it it's is you had like the classic case of the judge telling you all right son you can either uh join the navy or we're gonna find a, a place that you're not gonna like so much as home well i didn't know this uh <laughs> 20 years later my father finally told me him and the juvenile judge was a there were friends with each other uh. and he said i'll let you make your first major decision you go to juvenile uh basically six months in uh you know juvenile hall or i could turn around and make the first major decision in my life and i'd saw that crazy movie the five solomon brothers mm -hmm. during world war ii then i saw the movie the navy frogman with richard whitmark and i turned around i said i've always wanted to be a udt frogman and i saluted and uh the guy uh, the guy that uh enlisted me was a second class machinist mate and Ned, his name was Ned Johnson, and when he retired, he was back as an E-9. He was a senior uh, enlisted for recruiting the state of South Carolina. And he tells everybody how he he made Mike Thornton who he was today. <laughs> That's outstanding. So you come in, and did you you just went boot camp and then straight to buds, or you guys didn't have buds? You guys called it UDT Under, uh, training yeah. replacement, Under, uh, underwater demolition recruit training. I was supposed to uh, go. I was trying to go straight from there. They said no. We uh, you have to go to outside. Uh, like I say, my dyslexia was pretty bad, and I had to get a ten point waiver just to get into the teams. And they must have needed people pretty damn bad because I finally got my waiver. And I was in Hawaii, and I I came back to Coronado and went through training. And I was thinking about you know going through training. Here's a, here's a quote from you coming through training. We had some instructors who were not only good teachers, but they were real characters. There was Vince Oliveira, who was part American Indian and a plank holder at SEAL Team One. He called us pale faces. <laughs> <laughs> and we stood in awe and fear of Instructor Oliveira. Then there was Dick Allen, a black SEAL, who was the Navy boxing champion. He once sparred with Muhammad Ali. When Ali was asked once who hit him the hardest, he said it was a chief petty officer in the in the U.S. Navy named Dick Allen. And then there was instructor Terry Moy, who we called Mother Moy. It seemed as if he was always watching us, making sure everything we did was, that we put out 100%. So what I was thinking about during this was, when, when I went through, I went through in 1991, and there was clearly there were some rules in place, but also the instructors kind of did what they wanted to and the command wasn't watching them. There's clearly, there's more rules and oversight now. I, I've seen that with my own eyes. But I can't even imagine what it was like when you were going through them. The instructors must have just been able to do whatever the hell they wanted to do to you guys. Uh, I tell you, Vince <laughs> Oliveira, the most sadistic son of a bitch ever <laughs> met in my life, I tell you. And I was just with Terry Moy the last two days. Of course, this is reunion weekend. And, right. uh Terry still looks like a gladiator as he did back then. And Dick Allen used to hang us from the pull-up bar, and uh, he'd punch us in the stomach. But I tell you, if you didn't keep your hands loose, I mean, if you didn't keep your hands loose, he'd kill you. And, uh, of course, uh, Dick and, and uh, Vince and Dick both have passed, and uh, but they're, they're, they're memories. And uh, it's a funny thing about life itself, you know, and uh, – it's not what you've done, it's the respect you want to gain from the teammates. And Dick and Terry and uh, Vince uh, all gain, gain my respect and my love. And uh, they'll, all, as long as Mike Thornton's alive, the stories will continue going on. So that's, what I, that's all I want from uh, the, 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 my peers to remember who Mike Thornton is. That's, and, that's, and that's what those guys taught me. Yeah. Were those guys... Were those guys Vietnam vets? Or were they uh, Korean War vets? Both? A uh, little bit of everything? Uh, Vietnam vets. Then there was Tommy Hatchet in there, too. They used to call Tommy and I after I got in the teams of salt and pepper guy. He's a great big old black guy and uh, stronger as a damn ox. And, uh, you know, um, uh, actually, Vince was one of the original SEALs uh, in 1962. And uh, he went over to Nam. But, of course, back then they didn't know what they were going to do with the SEALs mm -hmm. during that period of time. 